Okay guys, I'm going to take you back a few years in history, uh, 2013 to be exact. We're going to go back to Nationals of 2013. Um, Patrick Hoban won Nationals that year with 2013 Dragon Ruler, Baby Ruler, Dragon Rulers. Let's go fast forward to a year later, 2014 came around. Corey McDuffie, nobody's ever heard of this guy before. Um, he actually ended up winning Nationals 2014 with a deck called HAT, which stand, stood for Hands, Artifacts, and Trap Tricks. Let's fast forward to a few months back. Uh, we have Noah Green. Noah Green won, who's my son. He is my son. Don't tell me he's not because he's my son. He won with Burning Abyss. Those are three people that they have one thing in common nobody else does in this game. Um, and that's, they go to Super Games, Inc. Now, one store doesn't have that many champions, I believe, in, in one centralized store. Um, as far as national champions go, I don't think any store does. Because we've, you know, won the last three. Um, play, play, shameless plug, I actually breed champions. That's one of my sayings I say all the time to people. Um, uh, myself and Super Games, Super Games and myself, actually have just launched something called Battle of the Champions. Um, it's something that we've been in works with for a while. We think it's a little overdue, but at the same time, we know a lot of people want to see it. And what we're doing here is we're actually holding a tournament October 17th. It's called Battle of the Champions Qualifier. I want everybody that can actually show up to show up. It, it would be probably the greatest thing known to man for Yu-Gi-Oh! On October 17th, we're holding a the Battle of Champions Qualifier. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, either streaming or recording feature matches. What the October 17th tournament is, is the winner of the entire tournament actually gets into this four-person invitational, which we're calling Battle of the Champions. That's what's the qualifier for. Um, in this actual tournament, this uh, pre this qualifying tournament, top eight get prizes, and you pay 20 bucks to get high speed five packs of high-speed riders. Top four will get boxes, and then in first place will get an invitation to the four-man tournament. Now, that's insane. Just being able to say, hey, I was invited to play in the four-person invitational Battle of the Champions tournament, that's insane. Like, bruh. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way. October 17th, I want to see you guys there. So I can record your matches. I can you you might be able to win that entire tournament and get invited to this tournament with Corey McDuffie, Patrick Obit, and Noah Green. So what does this you know four person tournament entail? And I'm gonna go ahead and get into this kind of uh, get into the format and everything with that. We're we made a vote. I made a tally on Zodiac Duelist and a few other places, and I asked people what their favorite formats were. And obviously, guys, by a landslide. 2013 Dragon Rollers won hands down 100%. So what we're doing here is uh, we are having all four participants in this Invitational Tournament play, bring their own deck for the current Konami format. And then per, you, per Zodiac and per everybody else, the entire community, they voted on 2013 Dragon Rollers. And we're going to see who the ultimate player is out of all the champions. Now let's think about this. We're going to play three rounds. Each player is going to play each person once. But it's going to be a total of six games. And it's uh, it, we're going to go by games. It's a round-robin tournament. So what we're doing here is we're going to play a Konami format. And the first four games are going to be of both players going first unsided and then going first not sided. So it's a total of four games. Sided in, going first. Sided in, going second. Not sided first, not sided second. That's four. Then... Then, we're going to be playing two games of the actual pass format duel, which will be 2013 Dragon Rulers. And then, those are going to be the other two duels. So we have, we have this many, this many uh, mat games all together in one match. Now, what, what is the point of that, Spoofy, if you ask? Um, we're actually going by games. We're not going to go by who wins and who loses the actual match. You are playing, regardless of anything, six, six games out of your match. Now, if you win 6-0, congratulations. If you go 3-3, congratulations. But you play six matches or six games all together. And you're going to do that for each of the other people. So say myself and playing Patrick, Corey, and Noah. We're going to all go and say I just 6-0 all of them. Like, screw them up. I'm, I'm going to do it. Trust me. I'm going to play the tournament and record videos. But... Um, say I go 18 and 0 in games between all three matches. That's going to determine my seed into the playoff bracket. Now, 
this is going to be the craziest thing. We're going to stream it. We're going to have commentary, and we want you guys to be there as well. Um, there's going to be different tournaments, I believe, going on during that day. Don't quote me on that, but... um. This is going to be a pretty crazy event because we're going to have, you know, Twitch commentators um, and we're going to, you know, record the other match off stream as well. So we can actually have both going on at the same time so we can pull everything on the YouTube all at once. It's going to be pretty awesome. Um, and the winner will get a trophy and money cash, cash money, money cash, I'd say either way, uh, a, a cash prize. And if you even get into the tournament, you're going to win some money regardless. Um, I know this is going to be some sort of pretty big event that a lot of people are going to watch. So obviously we're going to have it on Twitch. Um, we're going to have it on my Twitch, actually. It's going to be uh, twitch.tv forward slash the card guys. So if you guys wouldn't mind, definitely go ahead and follow down in the description below. Um, we're, we look forward to seeing you all either at Super Games or on Twitch. It's going to mean a lot to us. I know it means a lot to all three, Patrick, Corey, and Noah. And hopefully we can see you guys at the October 17th qualifier tournament for the Battle of the Champions. Now, could it be you that gets into this tournament? We'll just have to find out. That's pretty much it for me, guys. I just want to let you guys know about this tournament. It's going to be pretty awesome. I'm trying to hype it up a little bit and get it out there in the community because I know a lot of people are going to love to watch this and see the progression of this tournament. Now, this tournament, the Battle of Champions tournament, is probably not going to happen until the middle of November, but that's worth the wait, in my opinion, because you're going to see the best players in the game play in one tournament to be the champion of champions. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. I'm Smooth with the Car, guys. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't leave it. I give it a thumbs up. It shows um, that you support the channel. It shows the progression of the channel. And if you did, guys didn't like the video, definitely refresh. Give it a like a second time. I guarantee you'll like it the second time around. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. I'm Smooth with the Car, guys. See you later. Peace.